so now we're going to talk a bit about like about just adoption. How do we actually get more data onto the network? What are the solutions that uh, that we need to be able to do this more effectively? And uh, to do that, we have uh, Jen King, who is going to be uh, Jen has like a really broad experience in not just web crypto and web three, but also in enterprise SaaS marketing demand generation. She's really been a driving force for. Uh, Filecoin adoption over the years, and she's going to tell us more about the the new project that she's working on to uh, to bring more adoption and uh, more data on demand to the Filecoin network. So, uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to. We good? Yeah. All right. So with that, we'll turn it over to Jen. Hi. Hello, everyone. We're just moving around monitors, so I'm going to talk down here if that's okay. Um, we're good? Okay, great. So yeah, I'm Jen, Jen King, and I'm really pleased to be here, excited to be here today. I'm using water, sorry, I think I'm jet lagged. But um, I, uh, I'm gonna start off by talking a little bit about me. I'm the co-founder and CEO of DStore uh, with my partner, co-founder Mara over there. There we go. Uh, we were recently with Protocol Labs and we recently started an organization called DStore. So let's get into it. I don't know if it's up yet, there we go. Nope, sorry, just give us a sec. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's someone else. Anyway, I can talk about the launch of DStore. So I started <laughs> with uh, Protocol Labs um, and have spent, after 30 years of selling high-tech decentralized, um, became a natural progression from selling storage and marketing it and doing go-to-market strategies for a decade of the 30 years I'm that old, been selling technology. During that time, um, we were taxed with driving demand and um, interest for awareness and for data owners and growing capacity. But as Protocol Labs, we didn't actually sell something. What we did was we were educating data owners and connecting them with storage providers. Um, in doing that, I coined a term DStore. And DStore is not just a contraction of decentralized storage. It's a movement and it's a market. I'm going to show you why in a second. <laughs> um, so with DStore, just like other here we go. I'm not on screen, I don't think. Anyway, following along with the taxonomy of other Web3 technologies like DPIN, DSI, um, we coined the term DStore for decentralized storage. And what our goal is right now is to actually create a market segment in the storage industry of DStore. We want you to call it DStore. So it's highlighted in blue, remember it, DStore. All right, so what we did going back to becoming this data concierge for people coming to filecoin.io, they would click on a store button and they would come to our site and it was a landing page and there it was to educate. We then added a button, connect with an expert. This was led through a, a series of marketing emails that we used to leverage in uh, inbound marketing and it eventually landed in them getting my meeting link to connect with an expert and funnily enough, we did over 400 calls. We had 2,100 form fills, and 400 people reached out to us and had conversations with us from all over the world. All of them excited about Filecoin, curious, and I would say very much cautiously optimistic or actually skeptical. This is where they were. I think this is where we are now, and I think actually in the last three months, three to six months, we're seeing it move, but this is where we were when all of these form fills started coming in. I'm also going to talk about becoming a storage provider, which was actually what Mara handled, and she handled people who could potentially want to become a storage provider. Why this is a tipping point for us is we found that a bunch of people coming through thought they had to become a storage provider to actually leverage Filecoin to build their businesses and innovate. So we actually uh, termed, uh, it's a marketing term, ICP, Ideal Customer Profile. These Ideal Customer Profiles became Innovator Ian and Web3 Wes. We changed our content to attract them, and then we found out that, you know what, you can actually start a business, like a startup, and leap 12 to 18 months ahead of the rest of the market to get there faster, leveraging Filecoin as your storage target. All right, so these are some of the questions we get. <laughs> this is the worst, which is, I thought Filecoin was free. I can't tell you how many hours I have spent discussing that Filecoin is not free. Filecoin is built for it to be incredibly the best, uh, you know, enterprise security, encryption, super advanced technology, GDPR compliant, and all these things. 
Also, another important thing is, is you can't just log into Filecoin. People are like, where can I log in? We constantly get emails coming in saying, I just want to log in, which I'm going to get to in a minute. The other thing, too, is also, how is it better than Dropbox? Why isn't it cheaper? Why can't I just drag my pictures onto it? So mostly, we spend a lot of time explaining that I coined the term, it's not your dad's Dropbox. And by that, I mean it's not meant to store your wedding photos. It's not meant to store your fishing trophies or your pet photos. It is designed with the highest level of security, immutability, providence, and data durability out there. This is not your dad's Dropbox. Book a demo. This is where we pivot. We started DStore three months ago, and we added Book a Demo. And it is now an e-commerce site and a matchmaking site that connects and generates leads, which turns into deals, which is demand, with verified decentralized storage providers, the supply. We added the ability to start a free trial now, which is super cool. We're launching that officially tomorrow. Request a demo, which you've heard a lot about. And then the new thing, which is take our storage quiz. The storage quiz, which we call Help Me Choose, is intended to make everything go faster. We spend a lot of time in cycles, and actually our users were coming through and they were getting frustrated because of time zones and having to actually speak with a human. They just wanted quick information, help me choose, give me a button to buy, and let me do it. So in doing this, we've increased the velocity of our pipeline, and we took it from 180 days to 30. So here are the results of what one of the quiz looks like. This is Datadrop Pro, which is launching tomorrow with Decentrally. This is the, uh, the actual results, if you were to key it all in and get this. Uh, you'll see we have the pricing and in the very bottom of buy now. If you want to take it for a test drive, it's free for 10 days. Please do so. And that's the QR code to get there. The next product offering that's coming out is S3 Cloud, also with Decentrally. And then after that, we'll be doing a Glacier-type solution. And we have three more storage providers like Decentrally that we'll be adding by the fall. Here's the current use cases, the POCs that we're working on. We have nine current POCs in progress. And these are also some of the paid deals. So you can see this is not your dad's Dropbox. These are not wedding photos. These are the companies who trust DStore. I'm really excited to talk about some of the results we had in the past three months. We've closed and onboarded three PIBs of paid data, uh, paid deals. That doesn't sound like a lot to some people, three PIBs, but just to give an idea, the average organization has 162 TIBs of data. So it's actually a lot. In Filecoin scale, it's not, but in ours, it is. Also, we have a current pipeline of 35 PIBs, and we also have the capacity to onboard 150 PIBs of available capacity um, based on the agreements we have with storage providers. And today, I'm super excited to talk about the logo we have in the top right, which is CamCom. CamCom is a Swedish technology company that recently entered into a partnership agreement, which crossed the wire like an hour ago. We're really excited. Um, they are launching a decentralized data security division in partnership with Filecoin and with uh, DStore. And they've already brought two clients uh, on, on chain with Filecoin, the first being YayPal, which is a Web3 gaming platform with over 500,000 users, and Fieldstream, which is I'm really uh, looking into, which is uh, an AI marketing platform. Woo. Yes. So <laughs> DStore has become the easy button. And DStore is the easiest way to store data on Filecoin. If you're interested in test driving it, connecting with us, becoming a provider, or just finding out more, there's our QR code and then my, uh, my telegram as well. So thank you so much for having me, and we look forward to storing your data.